Okay, in 1987, I did a whole heart, and it was all these different hearts I cut out of wood. There were hearts to artists like Van Gogh and Gauguin and Mondrian, and there was a Birth of Venus heart. At that time, David and I were just starting to go out, and uh, every so often David would break up with me, and I'd do these hearts that had the black hearts with nails right through the center, and I did this heart that was locked. That was definitely to David. <laughs> There's a few other hearts with nails, and um, eventually we got it together, and David stopped breaking up with me, and, and the hearts, like, this was a piece to him, like, this was all his former girlfriends, and then that was me, the golden heart, and it was called Chain of Hearts. And then... I gave David a Valentine heart, and um, the next year he didn't give me anything, and, and he said he didn't think, you know, Valentine's was important to me, and I went, oh my God, I did a whole heart show last year, and you didn't think of, so then here, thereafter, David started making me a heart, and I started making him a heart, and so these are 26 years of our hearts. Well, uh, I just built our house up in Mariposa at Hunters Valley, and we have a lot of scraps left over. In fact, uh, I've always had a lot of scraps, uh, uh, lumber scraps, and, and I decided that I would uh, use a, a nail gun and, and nail them all together. And uh, it was so big that I really couldn't move it uh, in a normal way, and so I had to use the tractor. It's actually a 1953 Ford tractor that I had rebuilt, and it, it actually got stuck in the process. Uh, in one of these uh, the photos there, it actually got stuck. but. I eventually rocked back and forth and got it out and transported it out to a field out in front where uh, we uh, have planted it with flowers. It hasn't come up this year though. So, so just trying to you know, do it once again, use, utilize that we, we like to use found material. In the last few months I uh, got into breaking glass and uh, putting it in different configurations and of course Valentine's Day came along and and so I decided to uh, do something that was very, uh, very reflective and very deep. This is all uh, made with uh, window glass that actually broke in a greenhouse that we are making. And on the in inside of it, I actually have a piece of plexiglass that uh, is uh, then coated with some blue glass. And then on the very outside, I have these multiple layers of the, the window glass, just one eighth of an inch thick. And I wanted to give the depth and, and that it gives and all the re reflectivity. Well, I'd like people to come away with a, a sense of that they can do this too, that they don't have to go out and purchase a Hallmark or purchase candy that puts the weight on or diamonds that were probably mined irresponsibly, or flowers that'll die, that they can very simply make a heart out of just about anything. A heart's such a wonderful, symmetrical shape. You can just fold a piece of paper and cut it and fold it out and put it on anything, and you can make hearts about just about anything. As you can see from the show, there's cement, wire, rope, parasols, foam, bone. You can make hearts out of just about anything and, and people would, I, I think getting a heart that's handmade, at, we've been doing it for 26 years, is, um, is wonderful because you know the person invested time and energy and love and it, it's just so much better than getting something store-bought.